Hey guys, welcome to another lunch review. Today I'm going to try this Tattooed Chef plant-based buffalo chicken quesadilla. I don't know why they're saying buffalo chicken because it's not chicken, uh, but it, whatever. It's a buffalo chicken quesadilla. So it's gluten-free tortilla filled with plant-based chicken, uh, cheddar cheese, cheddar style cheese, and buffalo sauce. That's what's in this. Gluten-free for tortilla, vegan, gluten-free, soy-free. It is nine ounces or 255 grams. And there it says there, it has two um, quesadillas in the box. Uh, we bought this at Kroger. It was $1.50. That's not too awfully bad, I don't think. I don't know if it was on sale. I think, yeah, I'm, I'm going to turn it over and you'll see. It was actually on sale. It was reduced for $1.50. I don't know if they were making room for it or what. It says it was $5.99. I got it for $1.50. So if you're paying $5.99 for it, wow, that's a lot. Um, that's expensive. I don't know why they're reduced, though, because the, the date and everything's still good on it. Uh, 290 calories for one quesadilla, and there's two in the box. So just keep that in mind. You, uh, that's only for one. So if you eat both of them, it's what? Um, four, five, eighty. Wow. 580 for two of them. That's a lot. There's your other information for you. So you can do it on a stove top. Of course, we're not going to do that. And we're not going to do the conventional oven, but you could, if you wanted to, we're not going to, cause we don't do that. Um, normally don't have those at work. So you're going to remove all the packaging, place individual frozen quesadilla on a microwave safe plate. I just use a paper plate. Microwave and high for one minute, flip it the microwave and microwave, flip it and microwave for another 45 seconds to one minute. I'll probably just do the 45 or until he did throughout, let's stand for one minute before serving. So basically microwave on high on um, one minute, flip it over, another 45 to one minute. Okay. Um, pull down, pull down. Nope, no pull down. You just gotta open it. Take your chance on a paper cut. Okay, here they are. So I'm going to take, I'll put this one back in the box. Um, I'm going to take this one. I'm going to, I'm going to start it like that side. And then once I do a minute, I'll flip it over to that side. And that looks like the top to me. If there is a top, there's not really, but uh, I'm going to get this in the microwave. I'll be back when it comes out. All right. So here it is out of the microwave and I have let it set for a minute um, just to kind of finish cooking. Um, it does stick on the paper plate a little bit. So when you flip it over, um, it may stick just a hair. Um, not really bad, but it may stick a little bit. Just know that. So you may have to get a fork or a knife or something and go underneath of it to get it unstuck. So I want to cut this in half. Ooh, that's, wow, that's ugh. very tough. Very, I mean, the outside, that, that edge right here was like, it's hard. Um, the inside is not as bad because it's softer. I only did it for one and then 45. So I didn't go in a full minute on the second side. I good thing I didn't either. There's your filling inside. Um, I'm going to let this cool off for a little bit because it's really hot. Let, especially once I open that up, it'll let some of that steam out. Um, so yeah, I'll be back uh, once it's cooled off just a minute. I think it's cooled off enough. Um, I'm going to try just the tortilla because I think, I think I'm going to have issues with it. Very dense and hard on the outside. Almost like it's dried out, like a dried out piece of cardboard or something. So, that's not a good thing. Um, a little hint of that buffalo. I'll reserve judgment until I take a bite of actual the filling. I do not like the flavor of the tortillas they use. They've used, um, I've had a couple of these tattooed chefs and that almost all of them have had tortillas. Um, they're gluten-free tortillas that I just don't like the flavor of. The textures, I could live with the textures. The textures aren't great either, but I could live with those. Um, I just don't like the flavor of them. And I've had gluten-free tortillas that were perfectly fine. These, whatever they've chosen to use for theirs, I just don't care for them. Let's see there's a green pepper. I don't know if you can see it or not, but there's a green pepper right there. So it does have some, some peppers and seasonings. Oh, blurry. There we go. Um, it does have some seasonings in there. The buffalo, normally buffalo is a, is a very um, peppery, kind of like peppers flavor with some vinegar. You get a little touch of the peppers. I mean, you get peppers for sure. But I'm missing kind of that vinegary kind of red hot flavor and um, like a, a hot sauce flavor. And um, it does have a little tingle in the back of your throat. Not super powerful, like really burn you, like if you don't like hot food. 
Um, if you don't like overly hot food, I think you'd be okay. If you don't like spicy food at all, you would eat this, of course. But, uh, um, you know, if you don't like hot food, you're not going to buy some of his buffalo chicken flavor, right? Um, it's not overpowering, though. It's, it's okay. I'm, I'm missing that vinegary kind of hot sauce flavor, though. I really do. That's, the, my, that's my favorite part of buffalo sauce is that vinegary kind of flavor. Um, this one flavor is okay. It's not great. The tortilla actually ruins it. I think if I, let me see if I can just eat the, sil the filling. Without the tortilla. Now the filling by itself actually tastes better than the tortilla. I do not like the tortillas they use. The flavor is just, it's not very good. The filling in this one honestly is not the best thing in the world either. I could live with it. I mean, you can see it's quite a bit in there. Um, I could live with the filling, but I, I'd rather have it in a bowl with a spoon than eat it on this tortilla. Now, it's just the seasonings. The, the seasoning and the flavor is just not there for me. Um, has nothing to do with it being plant-based chicken. I don't, you know, that, that's not, that doesn't bother me at all. It's really just the seasonings and the spices and the flavoring they have in there is just not that great texture wise. It's okay. I mean, it's not chicken. That's for sure. It's, it's softer and, and kind of uh, mushier than chicken. Chicken gives it a little more of a chewy texture, whereas this doesn't. But, um, but beyond that, I don't have a, I don't have a problem with the texture. It's not like it's gritty or grainy or paper towel like, or, or, you know, whatever. It's just not a bad texture. It's fine, but it's, um, it's just the flavors I don't like. So this one, I'm not gonna, you know what, I'm honestly, I would just give it a two out of five. I might even give it a two and a half if I had to, but um, the tortilla truly ruins it for me. Um, if they had a better tortilla, uh, even if they had, don't make it grain-free, just make it vegan and, and, um, and I don't know, maybe they can, maybe it's the grain-free that's throwing it off. I don't know, anyway, whatever. If they used a different tortilla, I think it would make it better. Uh, but they still need to bump up the hot sauce kind of flavor, like that vinegary buffalo sauce flavor. They need to bump that up as well. So, yeah, it's a two, uh, two and a half out of five. I'll give it right in the middle, two and a half out of five. Um, still below average for me. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Good thing I didn't pay $5.99 for it. And I'll uh, see you next time.